Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how you can do some interesting effects on your images. Did she seriously change the theme again? Ooh, that's a lot of work. Now, if you like, you can just leave your images as is. However, if you want to add some shapes to your images, you can do that. Go ahead and open up your presentation. Because I like to be consistent, I pretty much put the same shape on all my images. So I will select one image. I will hold the shift key down to select all my images. You could then go up to the format option. There's a lot of different effects that you can apply to your images. This is one of my favorites. It's a reflected rounded rectangle. I don't know if you can see the lovely drop down shadow, which is really nice. So if I were to choose that, I would then go to my other slides, hold the shift key down and go up to that format and apply that same effect. This is so that I have a consistency on my slides. If you're constantly changing your slides, you want your audience to pay attention to the images and not necessarily the effects that you continue to add to your presentation. So keep that in mind. Something else that you might do is you can hold the shift key and select all your images, go up to the format, go to the crop option and choose crop to shape and you can choose a shape to apply. Notice it did it all at once. So that's also another option. Again, I want to encourage you whatever you do choose that you consistently apply it to all your slides. I will show you what I have at this time. So here's my food slide my places. Notice I have the same effect on all my images. Now some people might say it's boring to have that consistency piece. Again, I can't stress enough. You want them to focus on the quality of your images and not the effects that you continue to change per slide. This concludes the session on applying a consistent effect on all your images. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.